Hey everybody, my name is Ken and welcome back for the video of Lost Judgment. We're going to continue the series, boys. We're back with 30 minute marks videos, obviously, as you already know, if I recorded or uh, published the uh, uh, Guardians of Galaxy video uh, that I talked about it beforehand or whatnot, but if not, I decided to come back to the 30 minute marks just because two of the games that I wanted to play didn't turn out to be good. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and can you do right hand? We do have to take a taxi to the courthouse. We're about to talk to uh, Sarah or go into the whole I guess uh, Courthouse scene, I guess right we're gonna do the uh, the first the first day of uh, legal actions and stuff Trying to so what you're saying to talk out of it, Amiya I guess or get our plans battery, but together she conspired with Akihiro Ehara to fake a murder alibi We've already closed the book on that ordeal, yet now the defense wants to write a sequel? Let's see, Tokyo District Prosecutor, okay. He's pretty young for a prosecutor, to boys. The defendant's motive in the harassment, we need to bring the Mikoshiba murder to light. The groping itself was staged. It was all part of their script, right down to the guilty verdict. It sounds like the defendant has some strong hostility for the court. Ihara got the court to accept his murder alibi by twisting the legal process to his own ends. It was easy to miss, because at the time, Mikoshiba's body hadn't been found yet. But we have to admit that we all got duped. We? You're not even a lawyer. You're a detective. Yagami-sensei still has a license to practice. Forget what I said if it offended you, prosecutor. My superiors always told me that in his youth, your Genda-sensei was a difficult man. He'd insist his clients were innocent, persisting even in the face of conviction. He was hostile to the prosecution, and was known to fraternize with Kamurocho Yakuza. But it was his sheer disrespect that made my boss hate him. Damn. You sure know an awful lot about Genda-sensei. Because I honestly can't say I like him. He treated me like a child when I was starting out. I'll tell you this. There's no higher praise for the defense than being called difficult by the prosecution. Hmm. Genda was worried about Sarah's career, but I guess he thought the, the prosecution just uh, has art back in the day. Okay. Well, he was a tough dude, I guess. So I guess Sari picked, uh, picked up some of that attorney spirit from Genda himself. Now, if we can get back on track, can we confirm the defendant himself has agreed to the appeal? Yes. He did agree. If Ahara really committed the murder, why would he agree to his alibi being scrutinized? Ahara's objective isn't to get away with murder. Then what is he after? Making a mockery of the legal system. Hmm. Then it'd be best not to pay him any attention. And you'd be right. If your priority is saving face in front of the court rather than preserving fairness in the law. You've got a real attitude. Sorry I'm a bit late. Who might this be? So, with this appeal... The defense wants to assert the defendant's innocence by establishing his guilt in a murder. Wait, yes, he does. On, who is this? Who the fuck cares about who this is? Metropolitan police. Considering Ehara was on the force. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the um, that's the secret police. Yeah, that's the secret agency police thing. Police can't afford to be embarrassed any further. We need to send the right message to the public. Can we have your name, please? The name is Banda. And your title? Think of me as a kind of police coordinator. <laughs> but don't let me interrupt the proceedings. Forget I'm even here. Please continue. Public security coordinator, boys. He's, a, the, he's with their, um, uh, their version of the FBI. Allow me to or CIA, the I should say. Opinion to the judge. We cannot allow the murder footage to be used as new evidence in Akihiro Ehara's appeal. It's nothing but an online hoax of unknown origin. You can't just 
casually introduced The fact that, that you're just before. saying that is ju just does proves to me that you're hiding something, buddy. Such hostility towards the court, the footage might end up being a trap. Trap. Yes. What if the next viral video proves the original footage was doctored? What if the proceedings have already begun by then? Do we drop the appeal and call it a day? We cannot allow a man like Ehara to swing the court around by its nose at his whims. With that in mind, I believe Ehara's conviction should be upheld and enforced. Would the defense care to comment? Did you think any of this through before filing this appeal? Yes. We aim to prove the defendant's innocence, no matter what your objections may be. And what about you? I'm on the same time. What do I think about Ehara's appeal? How do I answer him? He never committed sexual battery. Must atone for Mikoshiba's murder. Era's guilty, uh, era guilty verdict was wrong. He never committed sexual battery. That's what I think. We will prove Ahara is innocent of sexual battery. We have all the evidence we need. Huh. You mean the murder video? You're no better than the public. You believe everything you read online. That's not the. Proof that the that's not the fake? proof we have. You or idiot, you we're not talking about the murder here, we're talking about the groping. It's two different things. Videos. True, the prosecution might have a point here, Yagami-san. What? what do you mean? What? The murder footage may not have shown Ahara-san assaulting anyone, but that alone doesn't prove him innocent. Oh, right. <laughs> then, uh... What is this nonsense? Really? That was not the right answer? How the fuck is that not the right answer? I guess I m he must atone then, I guess. Because it's not because the uh, uh, verdict was guilty. Uh, it was wrong. It's, it's not because of that. Nahara has to atone for Mikashiva's murder. I can't look the other way while a killer evades his sentence. <laughs> Come now. Is that why you're appealing? If so, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yagami-san. I understand how you feel, but being innocent of sexual battery isn't guilt for Mikoshiba's murder. What? We're uh, okay, now I'm confused. Nonsense. Now I'm fucking confused. This is why I went for sexual battery in the first place. Oh my god, this is the worst option out of all of these two. Why the fuck do I have to do the worst option? Guilty verdict really wrong. now, game? We don't think there was enough evidence at the first trial to result in that verdict. There was fiber from the victim's underwear found on Ehara's hand. That was a trick. It was set up with cooperation from the victim. There is no evidence it was a trick. Are you saying Yui Mamiya and Ehara met beforehand? Yes, they is did. There proof of that? Was there perhaps any security footage we didn't see? No, no we have witness testimony, my guy. Who the fuck do you think we have? Right. But if there's even a chance Ehara and Mamiya were a team, the underwear fiber proves nothing. Hmm. What were the other deciding factors? Security footage? The smartphone videos we kept seeing on TV? Those don't prove the crime either. Because there was a huge time gap in them. What? We've done enough legwork to know. The security video that supposedly proved Ara's guilt, there was a big gap. What was it? This one, I, I'm pretty sure. Did you walk around the site with your own two feet, prosecutor? Uh, well, no. But I have been to Shinjuku Station plenty of times. Then you must know they have a mountain of security cameras covering every angle. But if you went there to look carefully, you'd find there are some blind spots. That's a horror running, while Mamiya chases after him. It seems as though the whole chase is recorded, but this area in dotted lines is a blind spot no camera saw. That's the momentary gap in time where Ahara and his double switch places. The victim was running right behind Ahara. She would have noticed if they swapped places right in front of her eyes. Unless she oh, was she in it. About the swap all along. They were all in on yep, it. Yep, they were all in on it. Can you prove that? We don't have to prove the defendant is innocent, Takano-san. What? All we have to prove is that the evidence provided by the prosecution at the trial was insufficient to determine guilt. Because that's the role of the defense counsel. 
Indeed it is. If the prosecution can't debunk any and all possibility that the train groping was a put-up job, then it's innocent until proven guilty. Then the defense should have brought it up the first time. Although I doubt Shirosaki-sensei actually believed in the defendant's innocence herself. The guilty verdict at the trial was orchestrated by the defendant. It was our error not to have seen it at the time. But it would be another not to correct ourselves now. Stop being so dramatic. He's just a subway per. You okay, dude? Statement. I cannot abide. The law can't give the impression that a false charge is permissible, even for a subway per. Right. I take that back. You're letting your emotions guide you, my guy? So much for a prosecutor, huh? Interesting. I do believe this case is worth a trial in the appeal court. If the court was misled by a hostile defendant, then only the court can correct it. Thank you very much. However, I too have seen Ihara-san's murder footage. I believe it would be difficult to introduce it as evidence in this trial. Therefore, I cannot allow it to be brought into the courtroom at this time. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. We can't bring it to court. That's just fine. We don't need it. We're not here for the murder footage anyways. We're here to, to do the guilty, the whole uh, groping guilty thing. It's just not a thing. So it doesn't matter. Sorry, son. We don't you need it. Covered. Huh? I'll poke my head in at the office later. Very well. We'll be expecting you. So, uh, buddy, I know you're the one after Kuana. Was it from public security? I don't recall saying my department, <laughs> but yeah, that's right. Do you know Reiko Kusamoto, the vice minister at the Ministry of Health? Of course. Any particular reason she's under constant surveillance? <sighs> A rather bold question, isn't it? It's just you and me here. I see you know how to cut to the chase, Yagami-sensei. At this point, there's no way a guy from public security can't show up and not be related to Reiko, exactly. He's related, obviously, we already know that. Yagami doesn't, but you. you figured it out so pretty I quickly. I figure I'm the reason you showed up. You want to know where Kawana is, don't you? Were you finally forced to get off your ass because nobody else can get eyes on him? Guana, otherwise known as Yu Kitikata, is wanted on suspicion of murder. If you know where he is, please do tell. Wanted for murder? Huh. Because you know, I thought it was RK acting on your orders that killed Sala Sensei. You think you can hide that fact forever? Even the cops in the field have their suspicions. Do they? Well, the cubicle workers always resent the corner offices. Officers in the field complain about their superiors. I did the same thing back in my day. Then why did you use thugs as your pawns instead of officers? Is that how Sawa Sensei got roped into this? I'm afraid I'm not following. No doubt about it, he's the one controlling the RK. At the very least, he's one of the guys giving orders to Soma. You knew okay, it was gonna well, be a dirty job we gotta game. push him into talking. It's not gonna be easy. Force. Obviously, he's a professional, so. Or maybe you just weren't able to find an underling you could fully trust. <laughs> That's a good one. Public security's only tricks are surveillance and call tracing. You leave the dirty work to the thugs. That may be true, but it's enough to crush the likes of you. I'm gonna ask just in case. Where is Soma now? Hand over Kawana to me and there will be no more victims. What? Do you have a reason to protect him? I already know he's going around executing bullies. He's a disturbance to public order. But he wasn't the one who killed Sawa-sensei. I didn't come here to argue. I came to issue an ultimate. You can put your ultimate in your ass, for all I care. We're not gonna get anything out of it. This guy thinks he's the boss. Think again. 
What do we do now though? What's my next move? They're looking for Kwana. What should I do? Well, I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? Plan the next moves. Okay, great. And where do we go with that? We, uh, oh, we go back to Gendala office. Okay. Uh, let me fast travel there. Is there a way for me to fast travel there? There is a taxi there close to by, I guess. I'll take the taxi. I'll travel there a uh, quick time, I guess. Here's the thing, though. I, there's no way of talking him into. We didn't get really get anything out of him, especially except for the fact that we we know for sure now he's the one. Like we know who's behind all of it. It's just we can't get anything from it from him, right? So. All right. Looks like RK is looking at me. What now? Could they be RK? They're practically showing off much. Uh, how much they're watching me? Is this a public security plan to pressure on me? Maybe it is. I mean, they are working for public security right now, so it is what it is. Let me go in. Let me go in, boys. I don't care about these goddamn fugs. They can't do shit to me. All right, let's see what we got right here. Next move, please. Yagami-san, was everything okay back there? Yeah, of course. That man Bondo, I knew something was off about him. Is he one of the men behind RK? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He was trying to find out where Kawana was. I see. That reminds me. Hoshino-kun seems to have heard some rumors about RK. Okay, so he heard some rumors about RK. Okay, what about uh, what did you hear, buddy? Oshinoku, did you pick up what the word is on RK? Yeah, one of the bosses, Akutsu, came back to Kamurocho yesterday. He's back. He's number two in the group, isn't he? Yeah, so he would probably know about Soma. Know where he is? Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, Yagami-san, but RK owns some of the cabaret clubs in Kamurocho, and Akutsu manages them. If a girl makes a lot of sales, or if she becomes a rising star in the club, Akutsu apparently gives that girl a bonus. Personally. How do you know this stuff, Hoshino-kun? <laughs> Our clients come from all walks of life in Kamurocho, cabaret girls included. So to sum it all up, a popular girl has a chance to meet Akutsu? Yeah, but this week nobody was getting that chance. Until yesterday. Which is how I figured out Akutsu is back in Kamurocho. He must have been in Yokohama. Oh, well, that makes sense. But where exactly in Kamurocho is he? That's the part I don't know. RK bosses never sleep in the same place twice. Gotta keep the cops off their trail. But despite the risk, Akutsu still reaches out to popular girls. Hey, we could do the same thing again? <laughs> hey, I'm not even mad. In fact... I'm up for the challenge. Hell yeah! Awesome, Let's do this son. again, man. Let's put Siri the to the test again. again. You can hook Bring the makeup again. Br uh, put her into the blonde makeup and stuff. Blonde with blue eyes makeup. Let's do it again, boys. I'm up for it. Damn, if I don't want to see Sauri son transform one more time, I can't help it. Okay, chill out, dude. You sound like a creep right there. Are there any bars we know for sure that RK owns? There is. You remember Queen Rouge, the place Saori-san snuck into a long time ago? RK recently took over the management there. Queen Rouge? What about the owner? Still the same guy? Yep, he's still there. One of the original employees. Only thing is, it used to be a classy spot, but they've cut a lot of corners. The vibe has probably changed a lot. Really? Well, maybe that means I can afford to go. Hey, totally! I want to go too! This is no time to be idiots. Okay, well, sorry, son. You'll need the whole makeover again. I can take point on that. No need. I'll be fine. Huh? Just the other day, Mari-san and I figured out what kind of makeup goes over well with RK. I'll just go with that. Yeah. With Mari, Let's go with the well, same makeup. Point, the exact same because it looked beautiful like. on her, boys. I want the same one. The blue robe, blue eyes, blonde hair. Oh, Fuck no. this. Really? She's all in, man. She's gonna get to any club with that makeup. Alright, uh, I have to redo your makeup. I'll leave it to you. Let's have some final touches. I'll leave it to you, Sari. I'm all open. I think she... Uh, okay. the, 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 one, the makeup was great. Should've just kept my mouth shut. 
Believe me, I'm not one to boast, but I'm confident my efforts are in the best interest of the mission. <laughs> That's the spirit. With Sauricun here, again, the law will have its doors open for another 20 years. True. And we've got Yagami-san's wisdom, too. All right. Should we get on with the mission? Let's do this. Man, Yagami's gonna see her for the first time in that makeover, boys. He's gonna fall, uh, uh fall in the on his ass when he sees that, when he sees her and stuff. He, he's not ready. I'm, I, I, I'm telling you, Yagami is not ready for this shit. All right, I'm ready. I'm all ready. Let's do this. There she is! Oh my goodness! Look at that, boys! Not even the same woman. It's unbelievable. Oh wow, that is nice. <laughs> you can thank Mari-san. It's perfect. I'm really impressed. Fine. Well then, shall we head over to Queen Rouge? Yes, oh, ma'am. While you were doing your makeup, I talked to the owner about you coming in. Like Hoshino-kun said, there's apparently a system in place where a girl with great sales potential gets the attention of Akutsu. I understand. Basically, I just have to aim to be number one at the bar, right? How confident are you? I can't make any guarantees, but I'll give it my all. Then I'm with you all the way, a lady. I should head out to Queen Rouge. I can't do. I can do this. I've gone under the cover there before. All right, head to uh, to Queen Rouge. Oh shit! We're playing a theory again. Unbelievable! Look at this. All right, Yagami's just leaving. I guess. All right, so we're leaving without uh, Yagami or something. Yeah, we're. Oh no, he's he's with us. Okay, so Yagami is actually our protector. Interesting boys switching characters again. I love that so much. I got my little phone right here got nothing I love playing as a different character. It should have had more to, of this in this game though It would make the game a lot more fun. Uh, I guarantee you. We got all of everybody turning around like holy shit This one girl over on Senya Avenue looks like a movie star. Yeah, I do Watch out for me man. I'm the best and don't touch me because I've got my bodyguard behind me. I got Yagami protecting me and stuff. Holy shit, man. No, Aseri, boys. Looks fantastic. There's no way I was gonna change anything about that look. We could have added some stuff, but I don't think we need any anything. We don't need to add anything. She looks fantastic as it is. by this place sometimes but it's been a while since I've been inside the owner remembered you from last time said he wished you were there every night instead of just one the undercover cabaret girl of his dreams returns oh take this before you go it's a wireless earpiece if you end up going somewhere with Akutsu we can use it to communicate okay so we can I'll keep contact I guess so even yeah there we go we can uh, keep in contact Got with it. him I know you have my back Yagami you bet. Good luck then. We are going in. Let's do oh, this shit. Sorry, son. Uh, it's you. Yeah. Looking at you takes me back to better days. You are a cut above. A sight for sore eyes. Nice to see you again. Have you been well? I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, that's a lie. Last time you were here. We were a good place, but times have only gotten tougher. Now we're just a fast and cheap dive bar with mediocre service. Yes, I heard a bit about that. Keep this on the down low, but uh, the former owner lost a bet in Mahjong, so we sold the bar. We're under RK's management now. Ever since they took over, we're just like every other seedy place. We don't even make a profit unless we're shuffling people in and out, which of course impacts the girls' performance. 
But I hear the girls with promise catch the eye of the RK members. Ha <laughs> ha! So you already know about that. Yes, RK treats people well who treat their bottom line well. If they notice a special girl, they'll give her a bonus to show their generosity. Or maybe Akutsu-san just wants to drink with cute girls. My true goal is to just find out the locations of arcades on the bus Akutsu. Uh, becoming the number one girl in the bar is just incidental. This isn't about having a good time. I may be dressed up, but I'm still working a job here. Where okay. Where do girls usually meet up with Akutsu-san? No particular location. Just depends on his mood, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! But you have your eye on that bonus, I see. Well, if anyone could get it, it's you, Saori-san. I'm rooting for you. 10k points you just for that? Yes. Please. Yes, got please. Okay. Just so you know, I think I'm going to call for support. Support? Yeah, so in case you meet Akatsu, we'll be ready to pounce on him. But you'll be on your own until then. Alright, so I now I am a number one at this bar. I am the first ruler... And the first ruler in uh, ruling customer service is to heap price, uh, praise on the guests. You can do this, Siri. All right, let's do this shit. So, are you the new girl the manager brought in? You are <laughs> kind of older than I thought you'd be. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Hmm. What club were you at before this? Oh, I'm usually an office worker, but I worked here once about two years ago. What, so you just come back whenever you feel like it? Like some part-time gig? Really? You treat this job like it's a cakewalk and expect us not to be offended? Oh, uh, point taken. So, I guess tonight I should sit back and watch the professionals show me how it's done? What? Are you dissing us? What? You can haze new girls, but if they give it back, you lose your cool? Excuse me? Now, now. You can't scowl like that when customers are here to have a good time. You little... <laughs> wow. I thought you were just another snob, but you've got barbed wire where it counts. Megu! You're gonna let a new chick talk to us this way? Old or new doesn't matter. If you've got the goods, I have no complaints. I'm going to do my best, and I'll try not to weigh you two down. Kawi-san, Meku-san, Kuriko-san, we have customers! Let's get to work! Well, time for the new girl to show us what people see in her. You're about to see, my yes, girl. I'm, looking forward I'm the to best it. in there. All right, so the clash of female egos. I think I might actually enjoy this. Queen Rouge, boys. Let's uh, let's show our moves right there. Hello. We're about I to be the you. best girl around this fucking club. Welcome. I'm Kuniko. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, Chan. Uh, come, come, sit here. Wow, you're beautiful. Oh, the best of the bunch. Man, I am loving this place. Uh, um. So, how are you? How is this happening? Is this what the Agami meant by support? <laughs> I don't know, man. This seemed like a weak, a weak support, to be honest. The fuck is this? This won't be help in me elite in the least. In fact, it's doing the opposite. It's harder than I thought. <laughs> but, you know... I could make any prosecutor shake in his boots just by yelling, OBJECTION! <laughs> That's awesome, you killer lawyer, you. Jeez, why is Genda Sensei getting all the attention? For your information, I passed the national bar exam with top marks. Uh-huh. Oh, what's a bar exam? Oh, you've got to be kidding. You ladies have really never heard of the bar exam? It's the toughest certification test in Japan. <laughs> I've heard of it. Oh, so it's a certificate? Well, I passed kanji level three when I was in middle school. That's not okay. comparable. Kanji aptitude is a very fine certification. Huh? 
You passed your stupid bar exam how many years ago now? And you're still bragging about your scores? Seriously? What? Um, I... Uh, Damn, Sari. Uh, you didn't need to do him like that. that I know you don't like him, but you don't have to put him on the, on the spot like that. Especially since you're on the cover. Good lord. No, she's right. It's a dumb thing to brag about, isn't it? But the bar is really hard. Not everyone passes it. There's so much studying to do day and night. Oh my god, he's crying. Yeah, what a fucking baby. What the hell? He's crying? I have to do something to cheer him up even though I don't want to. Alright, praise his stupid achievement. So a stroke his stupid ego or sneak in some bragging. Uh, you know what? Praise his, uh, praise his achievement, I guess. Well, no matter how long ago it was, it's, it's still an amazing accomplishment. Your glories of the past are worth bragging about. I mean, it's the National Bar Exam. Glories of the past? Did you have to put it like that? Is this bar exam thing really that big of a deal? Yeah. You know what? My cousin said he tried three times and still failed. And he graduated from Toto University. A Toto University grad couldn't pass it? Then it is a pretty amazing accomplishment. <laughs> That's true. It really is hard. <laughs> of course, I myself passed it easy peasy back in the day. Now, I'm be how now maybe things are going to turn out okay. Yeah, if he starts stops crying for two seconds and boasting about his false confidence. Lawyers make a lot of money, right? Girls must be all over you wherever you go. Uh, well, no, not really. Oh, how cute. He's blushing. This is great, Candace. I say, let's get some more drinks. <laughs> you got it. More drinks it is. How about you girls? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad I got through that, but I wish they would just go home already. Yeah, this is not supposed... This they're, they're wasting my time here. How the fuck am I supposed to be number one if I uh, keep wasting Listen time up, with these girls. two idiots? This is a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I tell you, I love Cabaret Club so much. <laughs> Me too, Genda Sensei. Especially this one. The customer service is on point. I wish I could come here every night and stay till morning. Oh, you two know just how to flatter us. So true. Hey, in case you come back, would you like to reserve a bottle in your name? You guys are lawyers, so I'm sure you can afford it. <laughs> well, we're not a big firm. But you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Nice one, boss. You're the best. Should I let them do this? They keep drinking like fish. Gendala is going to go go bankrupt. Who the fuck cares? Let them do it. But I have to be uh, seen as someone who brings a lot of cells. Or else I won't get to meet Atsuko. Akuto, exactly. I gotta be oh, in. It's undercover wrong, stuff. Sorry, son. You're looking kind of gloomy there. <laughs> Come on. How about a smile? Yeah, Saurikun. I was thinking, if you could be just a bit friendlier, you'd be the belle of the ball. <laughs> um, what the fuck is going on with me? Sorry, son. You act like you're good friends. Hmm, they do seem pretty close, right? Fuck me, man. They're ruining the entire thing right here. They gotta go. They really gotta go. My whole plan is getting wrecked by these two bumbling idiots, boys. Cannot get a ch uh, any chance or any luck right now. It's completely ruined my plan. Huh? I don't know. But would it be so wrong if we did know each other? Of course not. But this does happen to be our first meeting. <laughs> Silly sensei. It's the first time? Is it really, though? 
<laughs> You're both teasing me so much. <laughs> Poor Megu-san and Kuniku-san are giving me dirty looks. Well, I mean, that's because something does seem fishy. Fucking Christ. Get me in the hands of this. Let me slap them to pieces. Slap them into the nonsense. Yo, Yagami, I need your... I need your, uh, your help. What the fuck, man? I need Yagami right now. Cuddle up Ganda. Sit in Oshino's lap. Whisper into Oshino's key here. Or stroke Genda Sensei's chin. I don't want to go with Genda, though. Ooh, yeah. No, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Nope. No, nope. that sounds like the wrong move right there, boys. Let's uh, either sit on his lap so the, or whisper in his ear. Let me sit on his lap. They're suspicious of us, Hoshino Sensei. Uh, um, what? Uh, sorry, son. But I just can't seem to control myself. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, am I being too naughty? Oh, it's gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna be in this trouble, boys. YouTube trouble. Run. Hold on. Stop this now, both of you. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, can we get that girl at this table too? Yes. You mean Saori? Oh, oh, me too. Wait a minute. What about us? Oh my! <laughs> everybody wants me. Yeah, that's right. I'm acting like a horny, horny girl, and of course, everybody wants to meet me. About damn time I, I get off their the fucking I get off of them. Oh, she sure showed us up. This is crazy. Well I guess that went well. Now I just wait to for Aku to to summon me. Mission accomplished. We can see defeat, sorry son. I'm so sorry we were rude before. That's right, I'm the best girl around and you I know it now. I'm the yeah, one who does right. the best job I don't out here. I could have done better than you in any department. You're a natural at conversation and so sexy too. I learned a lot actually. And woo, I drink a lot more than usual. Thanks for the hard work you three. I bet you barely got any breaks. It was one customer after another. What a night. We haven't had this good a take in a while. It's all thanks to Saori. No, I couldn't have done it without Megu-san and Kuniko-san at my side. Come on, it was pretty obvious who the MVP was this evening. Boss, seeing as you're here, does that mean Saori-san's getting a bonus? That she is. Who would have thought this could happen on her first day? All I can say is, wow. Akutsu-san wants to meet you and show his appreciation by giving you the bonus himself. There's already a taxi waiting outside. Really? That is so awesome. No kidding. So the bonus thing is real, huh? I hope I get one someday. Total success. Now I'll, I'll find out where you uh, so where he's hiding. Where exactly is Akutsu-san waiting for me? Apparently, it's a surprise. He doesn't just let that information out. But I'm sure it's somewhere in Kamurocho. And don't worry. Told there'll be another cab to take you home. I see. Well then, I'm looking forward to it. Alrighty then. We're gonna take the cab in the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.